Hey y'all, let's take a look at some geometry today. Again, if anybody asks you if you're doing geometry, the answer is yes, you're doing it. In Saxon, you do it every year. They mash it in there, they mix it in, and that way you don't sit there and you know have, God, this is so horrible. Like in high schools now, in public schools, they do geometry as a whole separate course. Horrible. Uh, the research has been out there for about 100, almost 120 years that shows that kids who do geometry as a separate course do worse than if they were to integrate it all in the same time. So anyway, thank your mom and dad for using Saxon math and go give them a big hub and, and uh, like volunteer to wash dad's feet or something like that and maybe, you know, comb his hair for two hours or something like that. Anyway, okay. Well, that's circles. The book wants you to use a compass. If you have one, go ahead and pull it out and uh, we can use it. If not, no big deal. There's three way, uh, th uh, ways to measure a circle. This, and make sure you know this. Write this down and make sure you have these down. This is a line segment from the center of the circle right to the edge of the circle. And this is called a radius. The plural of radius is radii. Looks kind of weird. I don't know many English words that have two eyes right next to each other. All right, here's another one. If you have two radii, by the way, in other words, you would have a line segment that goes right through the center of a circle, and uh, that's wrong. It shouldn't be on the outside, just in the edge. This is called a diameter. The plural of diameter is diametri. No, it's not. Don't write that down. Okay, that's a diameter. The other, if you were to take a, let's say, a piece of string or something, or, a, I don't know, a tape measure that bent, and you could take it around a circle like this and start at one point and go all the way around the circle and then you go, boop, stop right there at the very end. That is the, called the circumference. Okay. There you go. The word, this circum, by the way, in Latin means around. Like, uh, who was it? I think it was uh, Albert Einstein, I think, was the first guy to circumnavigate the, the globe. I think that was right. Uh, something like that and your the situation around you your circumstances you know so anyway wait is that Albert Einstein might have been Mickey Mantle it might, I think it was Mickey Mantle anyway okay that's three ways to measure circles there we go okay so let's do what's the name for the perimeter of a circle the perimeter of a circle the distance around the circle is called the circumference there we go all right we're gonna mess with this there's something really weird about this too that I never understood heck I didn't even understand this in high school so I'm going to tell you about it. You're going to understand it. You're going to go, what? Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. Uh, what, if the radius of a circle is 12, what is its diameter? Let's go back here. Well, there's a radius, right? Let's say this radius is 12 right there. What's the diameter? Of course, it's going to be twice that, or 24, right? Okay. Right. Isn't that easy? All right. Do your practice set, okay? You can do the exercises if you want to on page 139 with the compass or not. No big deal. Um, Let's just uh, try the practice problems, and uh, we'll do them all at once. So do A, B, C, and D, and then push, then uh, push unpause. So go ahead and pause it right now. Okay. A is the diameter. The distance around the circle is the circumference. The distance from the center of the circle uh, is the radius. And if the diameter is 10, the radius would be exactly half of 10 or 5. So, all right. Have fun with your geometry. See you next time. Take care.